What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to show you how to set up teleportation by using MRTK and also the Oculus Quest 2. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into Mixed Reality Toolkit and I'm gonna assume that you already watched my videos on setting up the Oculus Quest 2. If you didn't watch it, make sure you watch it because it's going to walk you through doing that with MRTK. So what I did is that I just cloned the default Mixed Reality Toolkit configuration profile and I just prefix it with Oculus. Once you do that, you're gonna go into Teleport and you wanna make sure that you have the Teleport system enabled. If you have it like that, that means that it's enabled. If you have it enabled, then you're gonna see Mixed Reality Teleport system being enabled. The next thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop a ground modeling here so that we can do something you know something that is more fun and we can go ahead and get closer in here so we can see everything and i'm gonna go ahead and hit play i already have my oculus quest 2 connected and i'm gonna show you just the basic teleportation you guys can see that i'm doing hand tracking so if i were to you know bring in my middle finger i can you know i can do but if i let go it doesn't really teleport me i can also do that with the left hand it just basically allows me to aim where i want to teleport to but if i want to teleport i can just bring in my index finger and you're going to see that that's going to allow me to do it the other thing that i want to show you is let's say that you wanted to teleport to a specific location right we didn't want to just teleport to anything on the grid so what we can do is i have a prefab in here that we're going to be adding and dropping into prefabs and what this is is going to be the parabolic teleport pointer that i'm basically overriding the way that i found that is i went into the mix let me go ahead and extend this a little bit better so you guys can see it i went into mixed reality toolkit foundation SDK features, UX prefabs, and if you go under, I believe it's under pointers, and as soon as you do that, you're gonna see the parabolic teleport pointer. And the reason why I found this out is, if, is because if you go into toolkit and you go into input, you're gonna see that we have pointers in here and I also have the parabolic teleport pointer. Well, I need to be able to override that. So what I ended up doing is just going into a file system, finding that package in the packages cache, and then just drag it and dropping. If you don't do it that way, it just basically causes problems. So once you do that, if we go into input on the Mixed Reality Toolkit, you can go ahead and click on clone. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna call this one Oculus Mixed Reality Pointer Profile. That way we can override the profile with our own preferences. Okay, so once we do that, now we can associate it with our own prefab. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it and drop it into this one. And why do I want to do that? Well, because I want to basically designate where I want to teleport to. I don't want to teleport anywhere in the ground. I want to teleport to a specific area. So what I'm going to do here, open up the layers. Let me go ahead and go into here, uh, layer. And this can be just something like teleport, teleport area. And then once you do that, we can go get back in here. And if you notice, this one has a default layer and that's okay because we're going to tell or prefab that we're going to only be teleporting to a specific areas, which in our case is going to be the teleporting area. So if you go down, there's gonna be a lot of different options in here that you can change if you want to you know, change how that line looks like. But there's also something called the parabolic teleport pointer. And if you go into that, you're gonna see there is also a valid layers. And what I'm gonna do, instead of doing default, I'm just going to change that to be teleport area. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the default. That way we don't teleport to anything that we just create that doesn't have a layer, which you know automatically gets designated as default. So once we do that, what I can do now is we can go ahead and add maybe we can have a couple cubes in here where we can use for teleporting and probably just make him a lot smaller maybe 0.3 and then we can do something like that so this so that is thing and we can just style them if we like to style them i think i have a couple of different materials in here that we can use and it's going to use a, a bright color so that we you know we can see where we're teleporting to and i think that works fine we can just call this one the teleport area which we're also going to be assigning that, remember, because we need to be able to teleport to that area. And then we can just position it as 000, zero so that we have our prefab correct. And then I'll just drag it and drop it into our prefab. So now we have a new prefab that we're going to be able to use for teleporting. And I'm actually going to be moving it down so that we're kind of colliding with the ground. So now what I'm going to do is, you know what? I want to be able to teleport to this area right here because I may want to get back. I may want to do that area. Okay, so it looks like I have, let me go ahead and get this one out of the way so that we can, and I can show you that this still works, right? We have full, you know, we can we can control anything in here. If we wanted to control that, we can control that cup. I can basically just throw that cup on the, on the ground. But the cool thing with these though, is I can now teleport to different areas. See how it shows a red on the ground and that's because the ground 
is currently set to default. But if I wanted to go to that area right there, it's going to, you know, it's going to allow me to teleport. And you can basically see that it shows me the right icon. I can, I think I made those a little bit too small, but I can go to that area. And let's say that I wanted to go, you know, to the air to teleport to that area. We can also do that. And I can do this as well. Maybe let me try my, my other hand in here so you guys can see that, that also works. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate because we need to we need to basically get back down. Otherwise, I'm going to be I'm going to be lost. And it's a little bit hard for me to, to teleport with my hands for some reason. But anyways, I'll show you how we can use that controller. But if I go back down, you can see that everything works, right? I can bring this here. We can, you know, do our experiences by touching the piano. I can grab every, I can grab a cup if I wanted to. Let me try that again. There we go. So everything works, including, including teleporting. So what if you wanted to do teleporting, but in this case, what if we wanted to use the controllers, right? So let me try the controllers now that you guys are seeing this. And the cool thing about MRTK is that everything is going to be changing automatically and it's super, super powerful. So I can go ahead and, in this case, it's gonna be the thumbstick. So let me change, let me go ahead and move this out of the way. We can probably just put it right there. There we go. Maybe I can just move this window and then move that window. And I'm gonna be using the thumbstick to be able to, to teleport and I'm gonna basically move it up. And as soon as I let go, it's gonna allow me to teleport. I can teleport there. Or if you wanted to teleport to that small one there, we can teleport to that area. This one, we, because we're using the controllers, allows me to do a snap rotation. So I can, you know, I can do everything that I that I was able to do with the hands plus the snap rotation and also locomotion that the controller currently have. So there's also a way that you can capture the events and I'm just gonna show you the script and then you guys can basically use it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and paste an example that I got from the documentation. So basically what this is, is allows you to connect to the life cycle of teleporting system. So it's registering a handle with the iMix Reality Teleport Handler. It basically says, okay, you know what? I'm going to be intersecting all of these different methods and I'm going to be registering them with this handler. The same thing when it happens on disable is going to basically unregister everything. So what we expect to see is that it's going to be calling these methods. You know, if the teleport was canceled, if the teleport was completed, if the teleport was requested, if it was started, it's going to show us all that information on the, basically on the debug log. Okay, what I can do is I can create a new object in here and this object, I'm going to call it teleport events. And then what we can do is you can just drag and drop this script and just set this as 000. Let me go ahead and see if I can teleport. Okay. So you guys can see that I see teleport requests. I, I see teleport was canceled. It started and completed. And there's many reasons and use cases why you would need to do that. If you wanted to do maybe a specific animation, change the color of something that you got selected. I mean, there's many, many reasons why you would want to hook up to those events. But that's basically everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.